Are you still spending hours creating product mockups manually? I used to spend half a day designing product mockups for my Etsy listings until I found a better way to do it. In this video, I'll show you exactly how I use my designs to create professional, ready to upload mockups for my Etsy listing. Stick around because I'm going to show you exactly how I do this for stickers, mugs, and t-shirts. And then you can use this same method to apply it to all sorts of other types of mockups. So let's get started. Started. We're now over on my designs and if you don't have an account you can create one for free. Uh, once you do get logged in we need to navigate to the listings tab which is located here. From here we need to create a collection or rather a folder that stores our designs in them. Um, and we can do that by clicking this home button at the top next to listings and then you can just click add folder. As you can see we're already in one called mockups video. From here, we need to get some designs uploaded, or you can always use Dream AI to create your designs. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and click Upload, Upload Files, and then I'm gonna drag and drop six designs we'll be using here. Um, and then we're just gonna click Upload All and Upload Designs. Now that we have our designs uploaded, we're ready to get to work creating those mockups. So the first thing we need to do with my designs is make sure we select all of these listings that we want these actions to apply to. We can select them all by just clicking this button here and you'll see it now tells us six out of six are selected. All right, now that we have our listing selected, all we have to do at this point is go to this t-shirt icon called mockups. We're gonna select it. We're then going to select image mockups. Now I'll kind of explain this whole um, window here. So first of all, the very top button is multi mockup. If we turn this on, what it will allow us to do is now select multiple mockups to generate at a single time. And it will add the additional ones at the top here. If we ever want to get rid of them, we just exit them or we can just deselect it by selecting the, the check mark again. Um, for this example, the first example, I want to use a t-shirt, which a um, Bella 3001 is the most popular t-shirt. So I'm just going to select categories here, or all categories. I'm gonna go to clothing. Um, then in the search bar, I'm gonna type Bella 3001 and hit enter. And then you'll see it pulls up all of the Bella 3001s available in the My Designs library. Um, but I'm going to also filter the results and I'm going to just select the most used. So. Now we can go through and just kind of select all these mockups that we want to use. I do want to point a few more things out before we do that though. The input file slot is essentially the design that you're going to, or the file you're going to feed the system to then create the mockup with. So as you can see, that is the design. And the output file slot is where we're saving the new mockup to, which it should automatically update these to empty file slots. As you can see, we have um, we have created enough file slots to save up to 20 mockups as Etsy recently within the last few days has increased their limit from 10 to 20 mockups. So now you can have 20 per listing. So let's just go ahead and go through here and select a few of these. I'm not gonna be too picky um, as I'm just showing you how to do it, but we'll select those first four. And then I wanna scroll down and point out we also have some color charts available. So there's a dark color chart and a light color chart. I'll just select this light one as we have a dark color design that we're using. Um, I'm gonna select this text color, or excuse me, I'm gonna leave the text color as black, but I wanna change the background color to be white. And then you can also always generate a preview if you would like to. So I'll go ahead and do that. And while that generates, I'm actually gonna close this uh, necklace mockup out. So we're only dealing with the t-shirt mockups. So let's just go through these. You can see the primary color is black on all of them, uh, but we have a black design. So I'm just gonna change these all to be white. Um, if you want to change the color to something else, you can always just select a different color or you can select this uh, color dropper and then go and select a color. Um, you can also do it on a different window. You know, if you had a, a Chrome browser open or something like that, you could select it there. Um, but I'm just going to select uh, white for all of these. And then we'll go to the, um, here's the size chart pre or color chart preview, excuse me, that you can see there. It looks fantastic. Um, and then we'll just change this last shirt to white. So we're gonna do those five mockups as t-shirts, but I want to also show you, you can do this with stickers. So let's change this category and we'll go to stickers. You can see um, it's still on the most used here, but we need to remove Bella 3001 and hit enter again. So we'll just uh, once again, select about five of these. 
So let's just do these top two. We'll do maybe the sheet one as well. And then I'm going to select one that shows the different kinds of stickers as well as maybe one on a laptop. So we'll then go through these stickers again and make sure that there's no settings that we need to change. It looks like this one's just going to show the same file on all three stickers. Um, and then we'll go to these further ones and just make sure there's no other colors or anything like that. So now we have uh, five sticker mockups as well. I want to show you one more example. So let's go ahead and go to mugs or excuse me, not we, we need to select uh, drinkware here and then we're just going to type mug. So now you can see a bunch of different options for mugs. Uh, the mug template does have to be set up um, in the correct way for these to properly generate, but I will show you just based off of how this file is, what they would look like. Uh, we'll just go ahead and select maybe three of these different types of mugs. And you can see that there's no colors for these ones because they are the white color which works great with our design. But now that we have all of these mockups selected, all we have to do is click this generate mockups button at the bottom and then generate mockups one more time. And I will show you what those all look like once they complete. All right, those mockups are now done generating. It took about one minute to generate all of these mockups for these six different listings. I'll actually go up here and go to the grid view so we can hide this data and then see these a bit bigger. So I want to point out that the one click basically that we did generated all of these mockups for all six of these listings. Um, and I also want to point out that I knew the mugs here were going to generate mockups that didn't look right. Uh, the reason being is we weren't using the correct print file. So you can see this is our print file we used. And then all of the mugs essentially have the design showing on the side. And I will show you how to fix that. But let's go through and look at a couple of these other ones. So here is one of our sticker mockups one of our t-shirt mock-ups, another t-shirt mock-up, and then I also wanna show you guys the color chart here. And then we'll see a few more of these stickers. So that's how easy it is to generate those mockups. Now I do want to show you how you can set up the correct print file to then get these mug mockups to look how they're supposed to. So all we really need to do once we have all of our listings selected, once again, is go to our canvas system. We're then gonna go to templates. And right here under products, we're just going to search mug, select the white 11 ounce mug, Swift POD as our print partner, and then we will select the template they provide. Now we're going to go to the top right corner and we're going to select add listing file. And since we're working with six different listings, we want to click add to all. And then you'll see we now have this added to all of our canvases. So we're going to now make adjustments on mugs. We need to make sure that we have the design on both sides of it. So I'm actually just going to move it to about right here. We can actually adjust it towards kind of the middle like this. Um, but then I'm going to copy and paste this design. Uh, the reason I'm making this one a bit smaller is because um, some of these other ones are bigger designs. But let me show you what happens when we make adjustments like this. All we have to do is select one, right click it, and then click sync. And you'll now see it apply those actions to all of these other ones. So we're then going to select this one, right click, sync, and you'll see we've now added it to all of these other ones as well. So now that that's set up, all we have to do is go save. I'm just going to save this in a different mockup slot. Obviously these file slots can be named anything, but I'll save this print file in mockup 20. We're going to save it as a PNG and then just click save. Now that that's saved, we'll go ahead and just take a look. You can see if I double click this, go back to the grid view. This is just our print file now for these mugs. So now let's go back into our mockup system. We're going to once again select drinkware and then type mug here. Oh, and then also we're going to select most used. So we'll just select the same exact mugs that we did. So we'll select this one. We're then going to change the input file slot to be mockup 20, which had our print file. And then we're going to overwrite that same exact mug mockup, which was mockup 11. You'll see it now says some files will be overwritten. Um, let's then select another one. I believe it was this one we used. Change the um, the input file slot again, and then we'll overwrite mockup 12, and then we'll select this Christmas mug. Once again, change the input slot and overwrite. And then we'll just click generate, and I'll show you what those look like. All right, we'll go back to the grid view now, and then we'll just double select these mockups. So now you can see they are done in the correct way, and they look much better. 
Um, but that's how easy it is to create mug mock-ups, t-shirt mock-ups, sticker mock-ups, uh, really any mock-ups that you would like to do. You can also upload your own custom PSD files that then you can use in our system to mass generate mock-ups. Um, the last thing I want to show you is if you do want to download these mock-ups to use, you can easily do that by just clicking files, download, and then you just simply select which ones you want. And once again, remember that we have six listings selected. So if I select one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then download, it's going to download those six for all six of these listings. So if you're ready to start automating your Etsy mockups, sign up for my designs today for free. No more manual mockups. Let my designs handle it and start spending your time making more sales.